I played several, several games now of Gaslands, and when I first started playing it, uh, my friends and I, we were a little confused because we had our vehicle like this, but we needed the vehicle to end up somewhere over there aiming that way. We needed to somehow do a U-turn, and there, if you, with the templates, which I'll show you in the book here, there is no U-turn. So we're going... Why do they forget about U-turn? What's what's going on here? After playing my first game and started playing my second game, I think I figured it out. So I'm going to go over some tactics you can use these using these templates to kind of get where you want to be. Let's take that example of what some people would call like a J-turn or a U-turn. So I've got my vehicle and what I'm wanting to do is end up pointing the other way so I can go attack my enemies that way. They're behind me. Um, the sharpest turn in a game is the hairpin turn. And if you look, I'll put it there, the best it's going to get me is that direction. Well, that's not pointing the way I want. So how do I do that? Well, the secret is not only picking the right template, but using these skid dice. Now, when I first started playing the game, I was like, uh, you know, I just really don't want spin. I don't want, definitely don't want those. Um, I don't want any spin. I don't want any slide. I just want shifts so I can go up and down and get rid of hazard tokens. You need to start thinking about that. Except for those, spin and shift are your friend in this game. So, these you never want. Just, you. Yeah. But these are your friends in the game. Of course, you, all, you know what to do with shift if you play the game. But why these? Well, let me show you an example. So here we've got the car again, and it's wanting to do that U-turn, and you're going to end up like this. Well, if you think about it, if you can spin the car when you get there, you can point that direction now. I'm now using the spin to my advantage. Instead of, oh, I don't want to spin. I don't ever want to, I want, I don't want the hazards. So I go like this, and this car gets four. So I'm gonna see if I do it. And there's my spin. I can take a shift. Actually, they're all shifts. So let's say I rolled one of these. I can use a shift to get rid of this. I can even shift up or shift down. I want to go like that if, and so forth. But I did get my spin. So my vehicle's gonna go here and now I can spin the direction I want, or I could spin up that way, and so forth. So using these dice, which I didn't think at the first game, first game that I really wanted spin and, sh and the uh, slide, after playing all these games, you use these dice to get your car where you want it to go. So let's look at another example. Another situation that might arise is you've got your car here and say it's got front mounted weapon. So it can only shoot what's in front of it. And the one you want to shoot is over here. And any of the templates you use are just going to get you out of position. So you decide, Ugh, okay, I won't be able to shoot it. And it's if you get it and do one damage to it, it's gone. And so you decide to use the gentle turn which I'm actually going to set this up like this, that uh, you're going to, you, when you pick up the template in the game, you have to use it. So you're going, I think this is going to get me where I can shoot him. It's like, oh, well, that didn't work out. I'm going to collide with this vehicle. Again, use these dice. So what you can do is you're wanting to get the slide. So you stay so you can avoid this collision. It could be a wall here also. It's like, oh, I miscalculated that. So I'm going to roll these. I want a slide. Of course, I didn't get one. But I can take a hazard token, re-roll what I want, and I'm going to keep this for a reason. Actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm just going to re-roll it. I'm going to slide. Well, sometimes it doesn't happen. Let's say we get a slide. So what's going to happen to the vehicle 
is you're going to put that in that notch there. The vehicle is going to go to the center there. Did not collide with it, so it slides out here, and that kept you safe. But there is a way you can still shoot this vehicle. And that's a, that is if you would have got that spin, which I wanted to keep. So this is actually what I want to roll in this situation. I want to be able to slide out here and then turn where I'm pointed towards my target. So we're going to try again. Hopefully it works out. Okay, I got two slides in that. I'm going to take these because I really, really want that spin. Oh, I got it. All right. And look, I got a shift and a slide. Let's take that and cancel. So first you have to do the slide. And I know I was safe enough that I wasn't going to collide with the vehicle. That's going to put me here. Then I'm going to do the spin. And now I'm in position to shoot the target. So do when you're playing the game, learn to use these dice to your advantage. This is going to help you win the game. Don't be afraid of spins and don't be afraid of slides because these templates are not going to get you in position. They can get you kind of in the position. Normally, normally, they can kind of get you in a position. These dice are going to fine-tune that position so you can get something like this. So that's my uh, first thing I kind of learned about the game. Um, when using these templates because we were like this sucks I can't do what I want I can't u-turn and all that it's they make you use these dice which is a clever mechanic in the game so think about these as not bad things but think about how you can take advantage of these dice in the game